<clears throat> how good was it personally for yourself uh, to be back out there, Twickenham, given, fair to say, it's been a bit of a stop-start year in terms of injuries and so on? Yeah, it has been. And um, it, yeah, it goes back to my first game back with Bath. It's just back to trying to, because it's been so long, um, not trying to overthink it and just going out there and enjoying the just enjoying the game. Since um, you've been away, a few new faces. Wales have had to dig deeper in uh, that regard, certainly in the back row. How, how impressed have you been with uh, the new guys that have come along, in, in namely Jack Morgan and, and Tane Basham? Yeah, like obviously we saw a lot of Tane in the autumn and I thought he did like a great job. He, he's been um, on fine form. For, for Wales and obviously Jack is all coming in now. Um, now it's just been good to get to know them on and off the pitch. Uh, they're real nice guys and yeah, they bring a lot of energy around the, around the place. Do you take a different role on in terms of mentoring and so on, given that you're just a, a few years older than them? Yeah, no, of course, if, uh, if there's anywhere I can I can help with, uh, with them, I'll be more than happy to. You almost clawed your way back uh, against England. Um, great second half. Where, uh, Toby, do you need to push on? Um, uh, in what areas in order to beat a side like France? Um, yeah, from, from the game against England, it'll be obvious one probably be the, the discipline. I think we gave away a lot of easy points there. Um, and then when you give a team like England or, or France, that kind of lead is always going to be tough to try to get back into the game. Defensively, is this the biggest challenge you've faced? Into we've seen them throughout the campaign, and we the likes of Dupont and Tamak and so on. How, how they thrive on, on mistakes, or on on turnovers, and, and so on. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're a team that's playing some real good stuff, and yeah, they get hurt from anywhere. Um, we, we've seen it throughout the last year or so with the form they're in and the, the players they've got and how they play. And it's yeah, it'll be definitely a tough challenge for for our defence. I know you've uh, just come in uh, after injuries, but but how has the campaign in terms of the campaign? How, how what would your assessment be so far? Um, yeah, I think everybody just um, focused on the task ahead. Um, as I came in last week or the week before, and England was the was the thing they kind of take reviewed the Scotland game and yeah moved forward to the England and yeah similar thing again this week we've uh, reviewed the game and. Yeah, well, our focus is on, on France now. Just a final one. Obviously, uh, bar two years ago, Wales in Cardiff against France. Um, there's been a great record over the past decade and successes as well on the Friday night, which is, as we know, in Cardiff, such a special occasion. Yeah, I, I think the yeah Friday night is going to be electric in, in Cardiff. Uh, not just the stadium, but uh, throughout the whole town. So, yeah, it'll be something to look forward to. Um, but, yeah. That's what it is. Cheers, mate. All the Cheers. best. Beth, next. Hey, Beth from my TV. You're right. Um, just obviously, you know, you've 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 struggled with quite a few injuries. You know, impact. You know, other things. I just want to know from your perspective how you deal with that because it's you know it must be so frustrating for you. Yeah, it, it can be, um, especially well looking back at all the injuries is is when you get a timeline. And when you get to that, the end of that timeline, it gets pushed back. And the first pushback, it's, it's okay, you can kind of deal with that. But when it keeps getting pushed back, that's when um, yeah, you kind of lose track of where you are and lose your head sort of thing. So, yeah, I, I think throughout the six months that I was out for, it's, it's almost like a roll in two weeks. Like every two weeks, we'll come, come to it and move back two weeks and go again. Um but yeah, I guess it's just it's learning um, from these experiences of coming back from injuries and when you do kind of feel like it's too many setbacks not to totally lose the plot. Then Yeah, I mean, from my perspective, and this is nothing compared to you, but I played hockey, the older I got, the more injuries I got. It was in the back of my mind that this could be the last one that could possibly ruin my Wales career. I'm just wondering, is that is that does that ever play on your mind? Because, you know, you're 31, even though you don't play like that. Yeah. Um, no, I guess with the injuries I'm, I'm having or have had, uh, they haven't been that serious, if that makes sense. They've been quite lengthy, but like, um, but nothing major. So, no, I guess I haven't had the experience of feeling something, well, some sort of injury is going to be my last. 
I, I know you hate the attention being on you, but the fact that you, you know you had such a long layoff, you, you played you know a couple of games, you came sp- straight back into that Wales squad. That must that must give you confidence about wh- how Wales feel about you. I know one journalist said that you were one of the greatest eights the game's ever seen, and I know you'll probably hate that. But just just talk to me about how that feels about bringing you know because that, that's not a usual you know position. No, it is like you said there. You, you do get some sort of confidence that you, you have the backing of the of the staff here, but um, you still got to do a job on the weekend. And if you like, you've got to kind of repay that that faith that they put in you. Um, so no, you, you definitely take some confidence in it, but it's still um, more work to do once you're in here. And last question from me. I know every country within the Six Nations is different in terms of you know the competitiveness, what they bring. I'm just wondering. What's your kind of best and worst thing about playing France and, and your memories from maybe playing them before? Like, you know, what, what you look forward to most and what maybe you do? Um, I think they've got it all, really, haven't they? And, and that's what you want to that's what you, you want to play against. You want to play against the best. And I, I don't see any weaknesses in that in that squad. And they, they challenge you wherever you look. And, yeah, that's, that's what you want to be involved in. Just, and I said last question, but, you know, with the French, they can sometimes implode as well. Is that in the back of your mind? It's not just a rugby <clears> thing. It happens in football, hockey, whatever. Yeah. Um, the France that we've seen in the last year or so, I, they, there haven't been any implosions there. So I, I think they've kind of moved away from that. And now we expect the, the best friends to, to turn up. Well, listen, good luck for Friday. Thank you. OK, come to Simon next. Hi, it's up, Simon. Are you mate? Hello. Um, just following up what Beth asked you there, I mean, obviously the last probably two or three years, there's been various kind of layoffs of the injury with your arm and, and the ankle more recently. Um, you talked about the process of coming back to fitness, but how do you get through it in terms of where do you, where do you turn to for support? Who have been the people? Of, is it a case of turning to family, to friends? How have you dealt with it on that side? Yeah, like, well, I think everybody knows it. I'm not really... A person to, to say much but what I do have something to say it'll probably be my wife um, and she gets all the everything else that I don't let off at work I let off it like I tell her so she, yeah she's the, the person I talk to and she she's the one that kind of points me in the direction wherever that she thinks I, I should go but yeah she yeah she's the one that's uh, supporting me throughout the whole thing um my parents as well sometimes, but they, they kind of know that I keep myself to myself. Um, but yeah, I think uh, my, my wife is a uh, big support in each setback I've had. Is your wife a patient person then putting up with you venting your anger? <laughs> like she's actually not patient, but uh, she's patient in uh, in these scenarios. <laughs> Just the last one for me in this section. Um, I haven't really had a chance to speak to you about the impending move to Cardiff. I mean, it's been a long while since you've been playing in Wales, but... Um, that's something you're looking forward to now that it's coming closer? It is, it is. Um, but like my, my, my focus is to, to play rugby. And I would have been in, by the time I leave, it would be like six years at Bath and I don't feel like I, I played a lot of rugby for them. So I'm looking forward to hopefully playing the rest of the season out with, with Bath first. And then once that's done, hopefully on a, on a ending on a good good front. Um, once that done, I can look forward to coming to Wales then. Good. Great to see you back, mate, and enjoy the weekend. Thank you. And we'll do one final question in the live section with Katie and then move to Embargo. Hi, Toby. Katie here from Wales Online. Hope you're well. Can I ask you about your cousin Cecilia then in the, in yeah. the women's squad? So, you know, she's yeah. um, been hailed as having a lot of potential, spoke very, very positively about the advice you, you've given her. What... Um, what are you expecting from her and, and how much will, will you and your family be supporting her? And also how important do you think it is that top stars of the men's game engage with women's rugby as it continues to grow? Um, no, it, it's, it's great for us. Obviously, we have a little town community like in South Wales and other parts of the UK. Um, and it's always great to, to see the, the younger, younger group come through and Cecilia is, is one of them at the moment. Um, but yeah, she... I, I've spoken to her a couple of times if she's uh, going into a game and she wants a bit of advice or, or something. But like, um, yeah, it's just great to, to see her come through at the moment and, and hopefully that she has a, a long part to play in the, in that women's game. 
Great. Thank you and good luck for this weekend. Yes.